Inside Press Box is presented by Friedmont Mortgage. Don't make a 30-year mistake by choosing the wrong lender. Go to FriedmontMortgage.com now for all of your mortgage needs. And welcome back to Inside Press Box. The NFL regular season is winding down, and this is championship week for fantasy football leagues. Here now to talk about fantasy football is the guy they call KZ, Ken Zales of FansFantasyFootball.com. How are you, Ken? I'm great, Stan. Thanks for having me on again. First of all, it throws me off. Uh, you know, first of all, I play baseball rotisserie, and there is no postseason in baseball. At least I've never played with it. So why isn't there just a crown champion in most fantasy football leagues just at the end of the regular season? Well, uh, it depends. Certain leagues there are. If you're in a salary cap league, you just go the whole whole year. You get your points and things like that. But in most head-to-head -head leagues, you have a playoff just like the regular NFL season. They, they post it in, in most fantasy leagues week 14, 15, 16. You start your quarterfinals, semifinals, your champion. We're in championship week now right. for most fantasy leagues. Some play week 17, but that has its own problems. Oh, okay. I guess they kick out 17 because so many teams, so many teams are, are, not, are not right. playing who they yeah, it used to be. Play. It used to be all year round. It, it used to be, you know, you went through week one through week 17. A lot of fantasy you know, leagues figured out about 10 years ago. You know, last week of the NFL season, a lot of things happen. People get rested. You know, Peyton Manning was, was famous for this. Yep. You know, for, for the last, you know, maybe six, seven years, they would rest them the last couple of weeks of the season. Right. You could just be in first. You, yeah. Just what you want. You're in first place the whole year, and all of a sudden your star quarterback is no longer playing. You're scrambling for somebody. Let me ask you this. How was this season in terms, was the interest peaked by the, the lockout? You think I don't, there were I don't more know. people interested? I don't know if there was more people interested. Yeah. I think the, the, the fact that we were threatened with not having an NFL season right. made it all more interesting for the NFL people. I mean, we, here we were. We were just about not to have one. And then fantasy, it's just like, the thank goodness. the players were moving the around, plan, changing players were value. Moving. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I don't, I don't know that it sparked more interest, but uh, I think uh, everybody was much much more grateful this year that it was here. Well, I got to meet you through working with you a little bit at the old radio station with Rob Long, yes. so that's how I got to know you. You wrote for Press Box this year. You're going to continue to do that. Um, and you write for your own website, which is fansfantasyfootball.com. You created a media league for us this year, which yes. you were part of. Yes. Gary Stein was part of. Uh, myself, Jeremy Kahn, Glenn Clark, Kristen Bursett. Well, we've got this up now, but... Uh, That's okay. But, yeah. you know, a lot, lot from the media, you know, uh, Brett Hollander, Brett Hollander of, BAL. Was, well, of yeah. BAL was there, Glenn Clark from, from NST. So everybody had a little hand in it. If we left anybody out, we had Matt Venzel yeah, from, from uh, Sun. Sun played very well this year. He yeah. finished second in the regular season, and we got through our playoffs. And How did my partner do, Matt Zenitz? <sighs> He, he was just an expert, missed. He didn't he? He's supposed to be an expert. I think we'll just leave him on the draft, the NFL draft. <laughs> he's he's really good at that. But he finished he seventh. Bad luck, he finished yeah. seventh in the league. And there's a lot of luck in fantasy football. Yes. You know, you have I, people ask me all the time, how do you do well in fantasy football? You draft well, you play the waiver wire, and you don't get guys hurt. And then you need your luck <laughs> right. and get guys hurt. And this year in the NFL, I mean, you know how many people in the NFL sure. are getting hurt. Sure. It's really trashed fantasy football for many teams. Yeah, I think it does every year. I mean, it's even worse than baseball because people are, you only play once you a week. You play once a week. Yeah. Um, how many people are playing this game now in the United States and, and around the world? Because this thing has taken off. And oh, it, it, it absolutely. There's 15 million people around the world. I don't know what it is exactly in the United States. Obviously, the United States has the highest m members in this club. But, uh, you know, Where it's really big it, in Europe. It's, it's huge in Europe. It's and it's huge, but they use the American, they use the American football, football player. players. The NFL, you know, you do the NFL. We tried to do the US, uh, the U, the UFL <laughs> fantasy football. It didn't catch on, but that was only when we were scared the NFL wasn't going to be there. I'm very good in the lingerie football league. Yeah, you know, I've been scouting. You I've been laugh, going for years. You laugh, but there is one. <laughs> There is a there Stop is a there, there is a lead. Look, and whose been, daughter, a former quarterback, Mark Rippon's daughter, yes, Mark Rippon's is daughter. a quarterback yes. on one of the teams. There, anything, any sport, there is a fantasy <laughs> league for. There, there's a fantasy league for bass fishing. That's how widespread fantasy is. All right. <laughs> well, the reality of it is, you do a great job, and you 
We've got about 45 seconds. What did you end up nationally among the experts? Right now, Top I'm, eight? Right now I'm 10th. Tenth. I'm 10th. We have this is our last week. We don't okay. do week 17. Right. Um, they eliminate the la our worst week. I'm going to finish in the top 10 uh, among all experts in two different contests. I'm also going to finish in the top five in the fantasy experts fantasy league. So that's going to be a nice accomplishment. So right. it's been hey, a good year. Great working with you this year. We're looking We're forward continue. to it. And you're going to be doing more with basketball and basketball baseball. Basketball and baseball for the first time. All so. right. Ken Zales, fansfantasyfootball.com, and you can read them on pressboxonline.com. We'll continue talking football. We'll get back to real football with Joe Platania when we return on Inside Press Box. Stick around. Press Box and the Sports Boosters of Maryland have teamed up with the Zolid Leonard Group of Smith Barney Financial Advisors to present Shoes for Grades, awarding free athletic shoes to high school students to improve their grades by a full letter. Go to PressBoxOnline.com now for more information.